Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my new video series called The Daily Mix. Um, I wanted to bring this series. This is like a non-polished version of mixing. I want to bring content as much as possible. You know, be able to do it like every day, maybe. Um, but apparently a lot of subscribers said that they would like to see me try to mix more content or they said they would like to see me do some more content so I'm like well if I didn't have to do so much video editing and I could do something that's more streamlined then yeah sure I can mix every day but with that said these mixes aren't always going to be tried and true recipes they're going to be um kind of like experimenting like you're working recipes with me and what I'll probably do is I'll mix up different batches, you know, if, if I do do it every day, which I hope I want to do it every day, but you know, it's hard work, but I'm going to try to do it every day, and with those mixes, uh, the following week and the week after, we will try them, and then we'll see if it's something that we want to continue pursuing, or if it's something that we just want to let go, and then maybe move on to something else. So that way we'll be trying something in episode and we will be making something in episode. But obviously for the first week it's probably, well maybe for the first three days, I'm not sure yet. Depending on what we're making in these episodes, we'll be able to try them and see where we want to go. If we want to change the percentages, vice versa. So, but again, if you guys want to follow along with these recipes, just know that they're not tried and true, they're still being worked on. So, let's start our daily mix. Okay, so, what I want to do today is, there is one juice from Vape Wild, and it kills me to say this, but there is one juice from Vape Wild that I haven't been able to clone. And this is a very good tasting juice, in my opinion. That juice is, I don't have the bottle, but it's Flintstones, okay? It's supposed to be, well actually I'll look it up, but basically it's Fruity Pebbles and Ice Cream. But I'm going to actually look it up online right now and see what they say. Because sometimes looking up recipes online and reading the description of the favor flavor profile actually will help you clone a recipe. Um, maybe when we get further along in this uh, daily mix, I'll learn how to share my screen. Because right now I'm using a software called OBS. I know it's possible, uh, but again... I haven't done live streaming, so I'm not that familiar with it, but I'll probably get to learn it a little bit better the further we go along. So, I'm on the... I am on the Vape Wild website right now, just searching the Flintstone juice. I found it. In the description says, when your favorite childhood cereal and ice cream collide, you get the best of both worlds. This amazing blend of fruity, crispy cereal combined with vanilla ice cream will make your mouth sing. Approved by individuals whose name rhyme with Ed and Ah, uh, Blarney from Um, Medrock, you know, if they lived in this century and weren't imaginary characters, oh. Don't act like you don't know who I'm talking about. Okay, so it's Vape Wild. They have a, you know, a quirky description. But basically, from what I get from this is... They're saying that it's the Fruity Pebbles mixed with ice cream. Which, we already knew that. Um, so that was kind of a waste of time. Anyways, so... I'm looking at the picture here. It just shows an ice cream cone and... Fruity Pebbles. Okay. So, basically what I do know is, um, 
Vape Wild also has these flavor shots, which is kind of like a concentrate. And that's how I actually made this batch. Because um, the one I had previously was 6 milligrams, and I went to 3. So basically, I couldn't vape that other stuff, so I had to make a batch of 3. And I happen to have those flavor shots. But I was... It, it gave me the opportunity to, you know, smell the concentrate, kind of try to get an idea of what it was, and I didn't have some of the flavors because I had nothing that kind of smelt similar, besides obviously like the fruity pebble side of it. Um, so, basically, it has like a yellowish tint to the concentrate, so... I know it's vanilla bean ice cream. That'll give it a yellowish tint. But then it had like this kind of like sweet smell. Like you know how it is when you smell flavor concentrates. You can pretty much decide that if it's a flavor that you have or not. Then I happened to get in um, TFA Marshmallow. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to work. I'll do it on the down below. Anyways, so I got TFA Marshmallow, and Marshmallow smelled almost spot on to where I wanted to be. Um, but the thing is, is I know with a regular Marshmallow, I think there's ethyl maltol in it, and if you put too much of it, it ends up muting flavors, but I'm almost thinking that this toasted Marshmallow one is a little different, because I can taste a heavy like marshmallow nut. but you know what let me try it and let me see it again so don't get me wrong um if i wasn't cloning a juice right now it would be quick right to the mixing but i wanted to get an idea and refresh my memory about the flavors I'm telling you, this one is is pretty tricky, but it's probably gonna baffle my mind if it ends up being really simple. See, that's the thing too. It's vape wild, so chances are because of the price, they're not using expensive concentrates. So it kind of makes you think that they're using TFA, Flavor West, maybe Lorans, but it wouldn't make you think they're using Flavor Art. Maybe even Capella is too expensive for this. Like, see, that's why it keeps tricking me out because every time I come up with a series of flavors for this, it just it doesn't make sense. So let me try this again. Okay. So again, guys, this is unedited. You know, this is just me and my process of mixing in this particular video cloning. So, if you guys don't like this sort of video, don't worry. A couple days a week, I'm still going to put out my more polished, you know, scripted videos. that have all the fancy gamma work and all that. So, that's still going to be here. But, I'm also going to do this for people who want a lot of content. So, I think it's toasted marshmallow and I already did a mix and I put too many oranges in it like and I thought it might have mandarin in it but it's not there's too much so I think I'm gonna back out of the oranges because it has a like uh, emphasized orange note in it so I'm gonna take out the multiple oranges that I put in it and I'm just gonna stay with Maybe Capella Juicy Orange. Mm. 
maybe some Capella Juicy Orange and Flavor Art Orange. I'm going to try a little bit out. Okay. I'm going to try... Maybe just flavor art orange. Hold on, let me clear my pad of orange. <coughs> Clearing my palette of orange with orange soda. Let's see how well that will work. Let's try this again. Okay. So yeah, we'll do Juicy Orange by Capella. And we will do Flavor Art Orange. But we'll go lower on the Capella Juicy Orange. And a tad bit higher. And I'm not meaning high, but I mean just higher in percentage with the flavor art orange. I think that would be the better way to go. Because that flavor art orange is really speaking to me, but layering is always good. Now. This is what I do when I try to clone it. I smell the flavors, and so you guys are going to see the process. Not that. Yeah, so originally I also did cream cheese icing by Loran's, but I don't think it's in here. But that does kind of make me think of another recipe that that might be in. Don't you love when that happens? Okay. Now, vanilla custard. Uh, I'm using TFA. I have Capella's V1 too, but thinking it's vape wild if there is custard which is obviously going to be really low to the ground because they just want to use it as a filling agent rather than a custard note I already know what custard smells like I don't know why I even smelt that but uh, I think it's in there just to thicken it up a little bit so I'm going to put a tad bit of vanilla custard I might end up taking this out but I'm, I'm going with that because a lot of people use that to thicken recipes out Do you, actually, maybe I should use a vanilla swirl instead. Maybe. Okay. So, alright. TFA, vanilla bean ice cream, for sure. See, it's weird, because... When I smell the ice cream... And I smell every ice cream. I have Flavor West Vanilla Bean Ice Cream. I don't have Capella's, but I imagine it's similar. I have Liquid Barns, and I have TFA's. And Flavor West. I don't know if I said that. But it... It really just smells like... It almost smells like it's just a lot of marshmallow like toasted marshmallow and fruit flakes or whatever fruit cereal concoction it is but it makes no sense they say ice cream see that could be it too maybe they're not even using ice cream like that's why you gotta have a lot of trial and error but for now we're using vanilla bean ice cream that might change but that's on the table now for the fruit cereal flavor, I'm choosing Fruit Circles by TFA. I have all the other fruit cereals, fruit rings, fruit flakes, fruit circles, fruit circles with milk, freaking, I have every single cereal thing. I went on a cereal flavor 
kick. So I got like every cereal flavor uh, because I make them a lot. But I think this might be it because it's not overpowering. The other one seems like it'll overpower with that fruity flavor. So we're doing fruit circles. It's toasted marshmallow though. It smells so much like it, so much. And now here's another one that I was also considering too is Capella Lemon Lime. No, Capella Lemon Lime isn't in there. Okay, so... Let me see if I can try some. I'm telling you, it's heavy on, I could swear it's heavy on the marshmallow. We're going to do that. We're going to go towards that direction. So, I'm going to use the computer. You know what? I'm going to do this on ELR because this way once I publish the video, I can link it. And then that way, if you guys want to try and follow along with it, you guys can. We can work this all together. E liquid recipes. I don't use the ELR too much, but when I do video stuff, I do. So, this way I can look at my phone, see what I did before, and then we can work from that. Oh, and if you didn't know, my username is JFN Development on ELR, so go check that out. I have a couple recipes on there, but going to be a lot more now that we're doing this. So, I'm going to create a recipe. I'm going to do a 30 mil. So, I'm going to do flint stoned attempt one. So, I'm going to name it flint stoned attempt one. Of course, you don't have to make so much. I just have more 30 mil bottles right now, and I'm not really hurting for BG or anything, so I'm gonna do that. Three milligrams nicotine. PG, VG. I'm gonna do max VG. Nicotine teen strength is 100. PG of nicotine is 100. Add flavor. Okay. So the first ingredient I'm going to put in is fruit circles. And I'm going to do fruit, fruit circles. Last time I did it around three. I'm going to do fruit circles around three again. And then juicy orange. Last time I did that around two. I'm gonna I'm gonna put juicy orange at a half a percent. Just because I want it there, but I don't want it taking the lead of the other orange, which is flavor art orange. And I'm going to do that one at, what did I do that before? 
I also had Mandarin in it before. Did that at one, so. I'm gonna do this one at two. Because it is heavier on the orange, so yeah. Maybe I should bump up the fruit circles to four, though. Hmm. Huh. You know what? I'm just gonna... I'll do 3.5, and then that way it'll even out my percentages. I know that's not a really good reason, but it'll keep things things neat. Okay, so got that down. Juicy orange. Orange. Fruit circles. Now, we have to put in vanilla custard. Toasted marshmallow. And vanilla be nice cream and sweetener. Yeah, there's going to be sweetener in here because it's a store-bought store juice. It's definitely sweet. I like sweet juices. You guys probably know my position on that already. If not, look at my previous video. Okay, so next flavor is toasted marshmallow. Now, toasted marshmallow, as I said, I, can, I swear I can taste a lot of it. And I want to do this one really high because it's like one of the main notes I can try. Last time I did it, you know, it was, it was getting there and I did it at three. Dare I say five? You know what? It's DIY. This is trial and error. This is what it's all about. Again, this is me attempting to make it. This isn't a final recipe. We're working it. So, I'm going to take a risk. Why not do five? I mean, I only got a little bottle. I probably need to get more, but... Marshmallow. Oops. Toasted. There it is. So, five percent. I know. It's risky. Now, vanilla bean ice cream. I'm going to do it low to the ground because, as I said, I, I can't smell it. I can't taste it. Maybe they just threw some in there just to say it was ice cream. So, last time I did it at 3.5. Need to lower that down. Let's try 2. 2% 2 vanilla bean ice cream. Okay, I don't know how it knew it was going to put two, but it already knew. Alright. And then the last ingredient, well, well, second to last ingredient, vanilla custard. So, this is TFA. But, if you're, use, if you're trying this, use whatever you have. I'm just thinking TFA because it's vape wild. Last time I used it at one. I think I'm gonna do the same, maybe even lower. No, I'm gonna keep it at one. If I start to get eggy notes, I can always break it down. And then, last ingredient is sweetener. And this tastes like a very sweet juice, so I'm gonna do this at 2%. So, let's see where our flavor total is. We're at 16%, which isn't too bad, actually. So, you guys ready for this one? Because, again, besides that, I don't taste any, like, other creams or milk or anything. Let me drip. You put your hand up on my hip.
And a drip, you drip, we drip. Again, this is what some subscribers asked for. I hope this video isn't boring you. Um, I think it's cool if people like me just chilling out, mixing, doing my thing. That's awesome. Do it more often, right? And then again, you can't really please everybody. You know. So. And my other mod is charging with my other RDA. Right now I'm using the Freak Show V2. And I hate the bottom airflow. I'm an over dripper and it leaks everywhere. I try not to use it, but I'm charging and kind of want to keep the RDA with the mod even though I could change it but that's just me being me alright so I think we're good to go to start mixing I think we're on the right track I mean there's definitely a lot of room to keep working this recipe because I have the different fruit flavors I think I have mostly oranges We. We're going to keep at this one. This one I really want done. And if you guys know something about a Flintstone recipe, or you think something that I'm not thinking, please share it. Put it in the comments. Message me on Facebook. You probably can find me. You know, I'm pretty active over on the groups. So, let's mix this bad boy up. And get my gloves and my nick. Don't worry, some of my bottles might say Vape Wild still, but they're just refilled. Like, this one's a nicotine bottle. I refill that with my nicotine. Same thing with the sweetener bottle. I just figured I already had the bottles and they had what it was previously, so why not reuse them? Although, I hate having Vape Wild branded stuff now because some of you know the story, some of you don't, but I just don't want to be involved with them. Yeah, and we're mixing on my computer desk today, not my mixing station. I was able to fashion a down below camera so I could do everything easily. Uh, when I do other videos like this during the week, it might be while I'm on the go or something, so I might use my phone and do the same thing. So the area might change, but it'll still be the same thing. I wish I had bigger gloves, but you can't beat free. I get a supplier of gloves. Also, in the comments, let me know what you guys are mixing up. Let me know if there's any cool clones you're working on. Or if there's something you want me to attempt to do, to make. Leave it in the comments, you know. Love to try new stuff. So, I'm going to turn on the scale. I'm going to reposition the mic because it's directional and my face is past it so it might not read. Sorry if that gave you a bumping. Okay, so, all zeroed out. First ingredient is fruit circles, which I have in another bottle, but it's all good. And Fruit Circles is in at 1.05 grams. Oh, my hand's in the way, sorry.
close enough. Fruit circles is in. I'm going to tear that out. Next ingredient is juicy orange. I'm going to shake them up. Always use shaky flavors. Shake, shake, shake. This is at 0.15. Got to do it with the left hand. Close enough. Capellas have bigger dropper bottles. You gotta remember that. Tear that out. Just sort of silence my phone, but I didn't do that. Um, so next is FA Orange. FA Orange, which I don't know. OBS, the camera isn't focusing like it normally does. And this is 0.6 grams. F.A. Orange in at 0.6 grams. There we go, F.A. Orange is in. I want you guys to try an experiment. If you mix with the scale, try mixing, try dropping the flavors in the bottle with your non-dominant hand. So if you're right hand, try your left hand, and vice versa. And let me know how much you hate it, because I'm, that's what I'm having to do right now, so I don't block the screen. And it sucks. It's not easy. Alright, so, toasted marshmallow. Here's the ingredient we're banking on. Toasted marshmallow is in at 1.5 grams. I'm gonna do it like I'm trying to do this the best way I can. I'm actually using the camera feed to see the grams. It's easier that way. That way my face remains in frame, sort of. Okay, so 1.5 and of the toasted marshmallow. I'm definitely liking this ingredient. I'm probably going to get more of that. It smells good. TFA toasted marshmallow. Check it out, people. And yeah, vanilla bean ice cream is in at point six. Okay, vanilla bean ice cream is in. Next is TFA vanilla custard. Again, use what custard you have, but I'm thinking TFA because it's vape wild and they're probably trying to cut corners, but it can. Price wise, tear that out. Vanilla custard is at 0.3. Here we go. 
and flavor apprentice sweetener. Shake that up. Now we're doing this at 0 0.6. sweeteners in now it's nick time remember guys we're using nicotine use your gloves and shake it very well mine's in pg just because whatever easier to shake easier to draw up easier to drip but some people like vg you gotta shake that one even more but just a warning what i like to do is Sometimes with these bottles, it spurts up a little bit, so I like to take a paper towel tissue. When I open it, I put it on the cover like this, just so it doesn't spurt everywhere in case. And open up real quick. Now even her air pressure, pressure release. So you want to make sure you're careful if you're using bottles like this. So now, nicotine is in at 0.93 grams. Tear that out. Sorry for that interruption, guys. Can't help the phone ringing. Landline phone. So, nicotine's in. Tear that out. And now, for VG, it says I need 30.65 grams. Some people stand by measuring the VG. Some people just fill it up the rest of the way when they do max VG. So, if this neck cooperates and it doesn't get stuck, then I'll do it that way. But a lot of times what happens is these necks in these bottles, they get the overflow. Note to self, move keyboard out of the way before doing this next time. Let me see. I don't know if you can see that, but the neck overflew. Just a little bit more. 
Can't even see if I'm getting it, and so I'm just doing another drop. There we go. So, got the ball right here. Having trouble getting it from the angle. Work on that for next tomorrow's episode. But you just put the cap on, like so. And just twist it up. I'm just gonna shake it really well. So, we might try this tomorrow, in tomorrow's episode. Um, I hope you guys kind of like this, like, loose, just mix. See my thought process behind it, and, you know, just a daily mix video. I had some subscribers contact me, and they said that this is something they want. And if you guys do like it, this is something I can do. Just film me mixing, and explaining my thought process doing it. But don't get me wrong, if this isn't something that you really like, but I do get support for it, I'm still going to have my more polished videos. But at least this will give you maybe a little look behind the scenes of what I'm doing. But if you did like it, you know, put a like on it. If there's something you want to see, comment. And please, if you're not already subscribed and you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe. If not, well, maybe there's another channel for you. But thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. You guys have yourselves a great day.